What's up everybody, Nadi and Sans here for Learn How to Edit Stuff, and why yes, I am wearing a chocolate chip cookie t-shirt. Thanks for noticing. So I got a question submission from a guy named Ozzy Safa. Ozzy Sofa. Hey man, love your videos. Can you make a video of how to make a stutter slash flicker slash black strobe effect on clips with trap music? There are no good tutorials on YouTube that show this clearly. If you did this, you'd be a legend for sure. Please make, please, please. Well, Ozzy Sapa, I got news for you. You came to the right place. You want to learn the stutter, flicker, black strobe effect, and I'm sure you're not the only one. That was very strange to do. I'm going to show you guys three different ways how to do it. You can pick the one that works best for you. I'm going to start with the one that I prefer the most, and then the other two will just kind of be, if you like it, you can do it, and if you want to do it, then you can do it, and when you're editing, and then, well, he likes to do it one way, and I like to do it another way. All right, let's dive in. Black strobe effect. Coming at you. All right, check it. I got a video of my roommate, Jacob Lethal, dancing in his room to some trap music that he made, by the way. Super exclusive, because this song is not out yet. It won't be out for a long time. So, huh, who's got the exclusive cool stuff on YouTube now? Other YouTubers, this guy does. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting the dab like a champ. All right, first we want to find where in the song we want to strobe. So let's listen. <laughs> Right there. Hear all those hi-hats? Yeah. Right there. All right, so the hi-hats start right there. So check this out, real easy way. Go down to this new item button. New item, color matte. Uh, 1920 by 1080, cool, okay. And you're gonna wanna make it black. Hit okay, black, matte. And then you drag that onto your timeline. Now your video goes black because this layer is just a big black square over your video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna go frame by frame, and I'm gonna make cuts. All right, now you hear the hi-hats kind of stop right there. So now let's delete this, and then we're gonna delete every frame in between. And holy shnikes, check it out. Yeah. And then there's another one here, there's some triplets. So like right there. And then what we can do is we can just grab this, duplicate it. I'm gonna put it on the high head hits. Since they're triplets, we're actually gonna go a little, we're gonna go two frames in between. And put another one there. Nice. Let's render that so we can actually see what we're doing. All right, check it out. Nice. The reason why I like doing it this way is because you can replace the footage underneath it and your strobes will still stay the same. So say you have a clip on your timeline and then you end up wanting to get rid of that clip later. You still want to be able to preserve all the strobes that you have on your beats. So I do it this way. Sometimes I'll even nest the sequences. Like if I come down here and I nest it and then I know that this first nest is uh, regular 16th notes and then this other one over here is triplets. So if there's anywhere else in the song that I wanted to throw that, like there's, there's another one right here. I can just duplicate this over, boom. And then there's triplets again at the end. There you go. So doing it that way makes it really modular. It's really easy to navigate around in your session and just duplicate it and drop it wherever it happens later down the line. So that's my number one recommendation of how to do black strobes. Let's move on to number two. So I'm gonna find those hi-hats again. Right there. And now I'm actually gonna do that same exact thing, but I'm gonna do it on the video instead of another layer. So we're gonna cut, cut, cut. There you go. And then we're gonna delete every frame in between. There you go. Now see, the only problem with doing it this way is I can't actually copy and paste this over somewhere farther in the timeline if it happens again. So you're kind of pigeonholing yourself uh, in more than one way. No copying and pasting. And then say if I wanted to swap this clip out and not use Jake dancing in his room, I would have to then go back in and redo the work that I've already done on the clip. And that's kind of a pain in the Nobody really wants to deal with that. So I would recommend doing it the first way so you can have uh, full modular control underneath all your edits. That's the, uh, that, that's the move for modular control. So uh, this is the second way that I would do it. And the third way I would do it 
uh, is not very fun at all, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway, just in case you really wanna try it. All right, we're at the part with the hi-hats. I'm gonna cut my clip. There you go, that's where the hi-hats happen. Now, if you go into Premiere and you search for strobe, you can drop this strobe light effect on your clip right here. So let's go into our effect controls. And now you see here the strobe light, all the parameters are here. So he wants black strobes. So we're gonna turn this to black. And we're gonna change the strobe duration to 0 0.06. And then we're gonna do the strobe period 0.12. So now what that's gonna do is it's gonna strobe for 0 0.06 seconds every 0 0.12 seconds. So if we watch through that. And then we can do the triplet one here again. Now we'll drop strobe light on. 0 0.07 seconds and we'll do 0.14 on that one. Just a little bit longer just to drag out the triplet. There you go. It's really clunky and like you have to make literally like tiny decibel adjustments in order to get it to sit right, but it does work. So don't get this as me telling you that it like doesn't work. All three of these work. It just depends on how you want to do it, how you're comfortable with and what you feel like is better for your workflow. Um, but the only cool thing about the strobe light plugin is you can make the video transparent. You can change it right here from operates on color only to make layer transparent. And uh, a cool thing that I actually came up with earlier was if you take this and you duplicate it on top of itself, and just shuffle this a little bit, let's say four frames. And we're gonna keep this strobing transparent. We're gonna turn this off. So now when this strobes, it's gonna strobe on top of itself with a four frame lag. So it's actually gonna give us a really weird, like stuttery jerky effect. So check this out. And then we can cut it there. So now it just gets real stuttery. Well, there it is, and there you have it, folks. Not one, not two, but three ways to do the strobe flicker black strobe effect. Thank you, Ozzy Safa, for writing in. I hope I didn't disappoint. I hope this really helps you in making all the black strobey flashy frames that you ever need for your trap videos. Once again, guys, if you have any questions that you want to ask me, please comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and until you do, I'm going to eat a salad. Yeah. You heard me right. There's chicken in it. From Whole Foods. Have you subscribed yet? Okay, thanks, bye!